Before we get started, definitely check out the private Discord server, link in the description below for some really amazing trades that you don't want to miss out. Okay, we've got to talk about AMC, guys. Because the dark pools, it's getting pretty crazy with the average of like two-thirds of volume being dark pools. And at the current moment, dark pool volume, it's going down a little bit, but don't be fooled. It's still super high at 63% after staying at roughly 65 and 70% in the past few days. Now, AMC stock has been doing incredibly well. Okay, yesterday, for example, the volume went up massively. Okay, the volume was 100 million compared to typical 50 to 70 million, and the stock went up roughly 8.6%. Now, after hours, it's a little bit red, but I wouldn't worry too much about it, especially yesterday, the stock market, okay? We're talking about the small cap, we're talking about the S&P 500, all being pretty red, while AMC was up a whopping 8.6%. If you ask me, that is super bullish in my opinion. In fact, AMC is doing pretty well at the current moment because it almost seems like it's affecting other stocks. When other stocks go down, I feel like there's a little bit of a sell-off and then AMC stock is going up. Right now, the economic outlook isn't as good, okay, with a lot of evictions that may be coming up. You also have a Chinese real estate company that may be defaulting on a lot of their loans and money, which will cause a ripple effect in the banks. And we're also seeing a large part of liquidity not being met for a lot of hedge funds. Because if you want to heavily short AMC stock, you can't just short it you know, with normal money. You gotta have a lot of money on a constant basis. And the moment when you don't have enough liquidity, guess what, you're completely screwed. Now this rule right here, which is the DTCC 2021-005, it's actually proven to be a really, really big beast for a lot of these hedge funds to overcome. Now obviously apes love this because the less liquidity that big short hedge funds have, well guess what? You could actually get the stock up and going again. AMC is a stock that should be worth a lot more because of massive renovations and even a possibility of AMC moving from a brick and mortar store to something a lot more digitalized. Even Adam Aaron came out and said on Twitter that they had record amounts of revenue for missions over the weekend. And I mean, like, the stock itself has been doing really good business, okay? It even surprised Wall Street with like a 25% beat on the earnings. That's amazing here. AMC, fundamentally speaking, okay, is a good company. The revenue is high. I mean, sure, it's a movie theater industry, but we're seeing the CEO actually changing a lot of things up. Therefore, you do have this initial margin requirement. This is for members if you just want to play the game. There's thousands of hedge funds that are registered under the DTCC, and guess what? You're gonna to have to meet the requirements. $10,000, you're gonna to have to raise a $250,000. Now, it should be a very easy thing, a drop in the bucket for Citadel, but remember, Citadel has like 3,000, 4,000 shell companies, and shell companies also need this as well. This is why we suddenly saw massive amounts of short squeezes for stocks like Sears and Blockbuster. A lot of hedge funds facing this liquidity crisis, if they just simply want to stay in the game, they're gonna have to pay up that money, okay? Increase their initial deposit requirement. So you got Sears, for example, going from 14, 15 cents up to nearly 70 cents. Same exact thing happened to Blockbuster stock. What I'm saying here is it's actually proven that liquidity is a really big thing. Look at this volume, really crazy volume and afterwards a massive sell-off. Now the stock is still about two times as high as before. We're seeing some huge price movements happening to the overall markets. And I feel like a lot of rules and this massive liquidity drain is really causing AMC to maybe start surging up slow and steadily. Now the short interest of the stock has now went down. It's still a very high number of 92 million shares being shorted which is roughly 18 to 20%. It used to be 79 million shares shorted about four weeks ago, but from 79 million shares being shorted to 92 million shares to being shorted, you would think the stock will go down because you got addition of several million shares being shorted, right? Well, guess what? The stock went from 28 to a whopping price of $47.80. If you ask me, it's a really incredible price that you can't get anywhere else, and AMC is on an absolute roll right now. And because of this, a lot of big hedge funds are facing a lot of liquidity problems. No longer are the cases of intensive shorting. It's getting to the point that a lot of hedge funds are kind of running dry on their cash and liquidity. Maybe that's why we saw a pretty big crash for a lot of cryptos today, okay? Crypto did crash pretty hard. Ethereum from nearly $4,000 to 3,400. BTC went down even further with it going down to $42,000 at one point before rebounding up to 46,000. And this is from 52 grand. So once again, we could be seeing some weird liquidity problem happening. 
and even S3 partners have calculated this. They said that AMC has a short squeeze score of 97.5 out of 100, indicating that a short squeeze of AMC is nearly a 100% guaranteed thing to happen. And S3 partners recently has been really, really good with the data, and they're very, very unique. People love them, okay? A lot of people use them. Big companies, big corporations use S3 partners. They are a very good data company, and the data that they give out is pretty good, okay? A lot of apes like it, a lot of retail traders like it, and overall, it's a generally good company. And S3 Partners is praising what AMC is doing, stating that the short squeeze index is extremely high for the stock. So it's gonna be a pretty big theory to determine whether or not AMC is facing a liquidity problem, but there has been some really suspicious activities. For example, Citadel suddenly starts retracting about $500 million from Melvin Capital. They invested $2 billion into the hedge fund. Now they want one-fourth of the money back after Melvin Capital broke even this year, okay? Those guys are some pretty good traders. Even though they go short on a lot of stocks, they still trade pretty well, and they made a decent chunk of their money back. And now Citadel wants one-fourth of that cash. Maybe they need to pay off a lot of this initial margin requirement. We have been seeing some big things happening to the stock with a lot of liquidity crisis happening, with money being a lot more tight, with the reverse repo being super high, with the feds wanting their cash back. I mean, it's just a complete mess right out in the markets. And right now we could be seeing another massive downturn. You do have some Morgan Stanley dudes out there saying how we could be seeing a pretty decent correction coming in because the stock market has hit an all time high. And maybe it's now time for AMC to run up. A lot of times when the stock market is red, AMC is stock that's super green. It's a very, very unique company with a pretty big backing. And AMC is still an extremely popular stock, guys. It's still the number one stock. I mean, today the sell orders are a little bit higher than the buy orders on Fidelity orders by customers, but I really wouldn't mind it that much, especially how right now we do see a decent amount of buys from major hedge funds here and there. Hedge funds are getting pretty bullish on the stock, and I don't really see why not. Okay, it's a pretty good company. Can you check out some of the hedge funds and check out the most recent reporting dates? It's insane. Okay, the most recent reporting dates for several of these hedge funds have also increased their positions. Most hedge funds have already reported their S3 filings, and if you look at this, about 90% of hedge funds are either buying more or just holding on to the stock. So the hedge funds are honestly selling off are usually smaller institutions, and they're only selling off like a few thousand shares here and there, not even that big of a deal. So I think AMC is balling right now, it's doing really well, and it's in a position to truly succeed as a good company. If you guys want to follow where the smart money is, if you guys don't really like what the apes are doing, just look at that smart money. If smart money is buying more stocks, if some of the biggest hedge funds and big banks are buying more of AMC, something is definitely up. When you got pension funds and retirement funds buying this stock, this stock is pretty good, okay? I mean, they have less and less debt. I mean, $2 billion of whopping cash in a bank. What more can you ask for for the company? They're even trying to experience with on-demand streaming and stuff like that. Thanks for watching, guys, and comment below. Definitely check out Moomoo. Link in the description below. Click on it. Make a Moomoo broker account using the link. Deposit $100 and get two free stocks. 5K more, get two more free stocks. If you guys deposit $2,000 in the account and hold it for 30 days, you get a free stock of General Motors, guaranteed GM. It's a 50 bucks stock, and also two free stocks in additional. That's pretty sweet. It's free money on free money. Take advantage of it. The promotion won't last forever, and it's a pretty good brokerage as well. See you guys later.